Hi, Heidi. It's so good to see you. I'm so glad that you're giving us this time and going to share some of your experiences with us. So before we get started talking about the Women's Health Coach Certification, I would love to hear a bit about your background. Introduce yourself. Like, where? What did you come to this work from? Hi, good morning. Thank you so much, Jessica, for having me. Yes, I just came from a simple family in the Philippines. So I grew up, you know, I saw my how my father suffered from his stroke and then from his disability, his failed business, and then my mother struggling, you know, um, waking up early in the morning to help us, you know, uh, to help our store so that we can um, get through the day. So, and then I went, to school through scholarships, so I'm just I was just probably lucky to be able to finish um, my bachelor's in physical therapy, and then I was able to get hired and come here to work as a physical therapist. And then after that, so this is where I'm now. Thank you so much. Yeah. So so you came to the U.S. You started working as a physical therapist, but you still felt that something was missing. So let's talk a little bit about like, where did you first hear about the Integrative Women's Health Institute or the Women's Health Coach Certification? Where did you first hear about that? Yeah, I saw you in a birth, um, in one of the healing summit that I attended. And at that point, Mm -hmm. yes, at that point, I had a miscarriage, like I was just trying to heal over a year of miscarriage. And then, you know, all those things that come with it all the the long-term bleeding, pain, fatigue. And then I went to the emergency room already. I went to different specialists, but I still didn't have answer. Like what's wrong with me? You know, I still did not get really the proper care that I need to, um, I wanted to have. So, and then when I saw you speak about, you know, gut health, the neural and and um, nutrition. So I was like, yeah, it makes sense. So I, I, you know, from then on, I started to fall in love with that idea and I hold on to that mission and I just followed you everywhere you go <laughs> or wherever I see you and then and decided to uh, join your class and even your all, all, I think almost all your classes, uh, you know, I enrolled. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, I'm sorry for your loss. And I know that your own health journey was really part of what spurred you to look deeper and learn about our work. And it's so common. We have so many people come to our programs because, you know, even if they were already practicing clinicians in physical therapy or nursing or occupational therapy or mental health, they realize there's this like missing connection between the nervous system, the gut, the musculoskeletal system, the immune system, and that integration isn't really taught in our Western medicine training because it's always so isolated, right? It's like, here's the GI doctor and here's the gynecologist. And, but in most cases for our clients, there are many things going on at the same time. So like in your case, you had gut health issues and you had chronic post miscarried bleeding and you were depressed and you were frustrated and you had a lot of fatigue, which could have been nutrient deficiency, you know, lots of different things going on, but there's no one really in the conventional system who's like, okay, wait, let's sit down and look at this whole picture. So once you did that and you were like, okay, I just want to learn all of this and how to connect it. Did you have any kind of hesitations about joining the Women's Health Coach Certification, any financial hesitations, any uh, time hesitations, or you were just like all in from the beginning? Um, Learning hesitation was not. I was so excited to learn all about it so that my first, you know, goal is to help myself. And then that way, you know, I believe that if you have something, you cannot give someone else something if you don't have it. So I have to have that and then get healed so that I can help other women. So I realized at that point that there are a lot of women that are suffering. But that was the point where the world lockdown happened (laughs) and all people are afraid, losing their jobs. And at that point, I only have like that was the first time after all the all the um, the the medical attention that I had to get, the flooding in our house. That was the point where 
I only had $100 in my bank and I was like, what am I going to do? So I was so scared. So I had financial hesitation, but it worked out after a few months. I think I waited for at least three months and then I went for it because I know it will help me. Yeah. So you went for it, you overcame that financial hesitation. Yep. And let's talk about kind of where are you now? How are you using this and what has evolved in your work and your business and your practice that's helped you kind of recoup all of that and much more? Yeah, it's, it's, it, there's a lot really happened, you know, it's like a turnaround after that. Yeah. So I, I just, you know, I was able to understand myself all with all through the lessons. I was able to help my own stress. I was so, I was always so tense, so scared, so always on survival mode. I was always, I'm not an angry person, but I was like, appear to be angry because, and defensive because like, you know, I have to survive and things like that. So all that I had, you know, I was able to learn how to understand myself, learning all the stress management and all that, all those lessons. And then um, the once I was able to understand myself, so I was able to like ground myself. And that's the only way I realized that I can help people more. And I, you know, when you know yourself, you mm -hmm. know what your problems are, you label yourself properly. And then you know your strengths are and weaknesses, and then you know that you love yourself. And then that's the only way you can connect to other people and understand their situation as well, and be able to provide them that safe space and non-judgmental space. So that's, you know, that's the most turnaround that I got from, from being in the women's health program. And in addition to that, all those, all those, right. kicks, yes. And uh, I was able to, uh, all the, in addition, what? Yeah. In addition to that, a lot of things happened. Like even though I was in the program, I was able to pass my nursing license, get different certifications. Um, some people would think like, what are you doing? You're like gathering all this certification because I really want to understand, you know, sometimes people get so blocked, their blockages, how to understand them consciously mm -hmm. and subconsciously. So like how to connect those two things so that it will be more powerful, you know, in helping other women. And also actually it is for my own, like healing myself. And then I was able to purchase like two, li two lands, one across the ocean, one across the, the mountain, because I'm going to, I am planning to put the wellness program over there too, like wellness retreat centers. And all oh, nice. So, so now you, oh, that's so exciting. So you've got your land, all purchased for your new brand new wellness centers. And in the meantime, you've been practicing these skills on, on new clients who have now you're able to take that perspective because essentially, and this is one of the things that we do do in the women's health coach certification program. We kind of have our students start by turning the lens, you know, the mirror on themselves a little bit and use yourself as your own case study. And, you know, so many of our students come with more really challenging things like you have, like the post miscarriage trouble where you really didn't fully recover until we got deeper into all the layers. Other people are just fatigued, burned out, having sleeping issues, you know, or perimenopausal symptoms, or they never really recovered postpartum, or they're struggling with infertility or miscarriages, repeat miscarriages. And so you turn that lens on yourself, you practice on yourself for a while. Then you gain the confidence in our retreats. What, what were some of the things within the program that really enhanced your confidence, like working with your master coach or coming to the retreats? What did you, where did you feel like your confidence really grew in the skills? Yeah. When, when the master coach really helped you like map out what, what really it is to be a women's health coach, like, you know, like how to like funnel strategies, like gather all the strategies that the person have and then funnel it down to the most, mm -hmm. um, the most little thing that they can do to feel them, to make them help, to help them feel successful. So that, that's one thing. And then the, yeah. the visioning, it, that's so helpful for me. Like, I was like, oh, that's really great. It, and that thought that, you know, when we were told that you're exactly where you're at, at right now, I was like, oh my goodness, it's so, so true. Because like my vision was five years from now 
And when I joined this program, I was 45. So I was like, oh my goodness, who would thought I'll turn 50 with all this vision in my in my in my life and all the things that I can do for all the women. So it's like exactly you are where you are, exactly where you are right now. So and that, you know, just trust the process, just learn and and just see all the, the good things that you can acquire so that you can give it back. So there there are actually a lot. Yeah. So, you know, so you came to this feeling, you know, in bad shape from your own health standpoint, hundred dollars in your account. And now you've worked with all of these clients because you practice on yourself. Then you were able to have the confidence and the real skills to work with so many clients so successfully that you've now actually purchased land to build your dream wellness centers in two amazing places on the water and the mountains. So your, your vision is really coming to life from, you know, it's all, it was only a few years ago that you were really in a stuck place. So I'm so excited to celebrate that for you. Yeah, me too. Yes. And I still give a lot of, you know, um, practice, practice clients, like give them for free because I believe, you know, when you give things for free, it's not only enriching to them, but also enriching to me. And I learned a lot from that too. Yeah. I think you're, you have a real generosity in your perspective and, you know, we do try to encourage that because I really do feel that when you're in a place of peacefulness ourselves as our own coaches, you know, we're taking care of our own health. We're not overstressing ourselves. We're not spread too thin. It's so much easier to be able to live from a place of generosity because we're not just exhausted all the time. Exactly. Yeah. I apologize for that. My daughter connected yeah. my phone to my computer and I don't know how to, how to stop it. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. It's not, we can't even see it from here. There's no flashing lights or anything. <laughs> um, excellent. All right. So one, one last question for you. So if someone is on the fence, you know, they're in your spot, it's a few years ago where they're just like stuck, they're not feeling very well. They're having, they're like, not sure what they want to do with their work. They're feeling stuck financially and time-wise but they really feel called to do this program and this work. Why would you recommend the women's health coach certification? And, you know, what did you love most about it? Yeah, I will recommend the uh, women's health certification because most, uh, you know, mostly you will find the answers there. Like I was in a very dark place, not really very dark place, low place <laughs> financially, you know, very sick. So I was able to find the answers, you know, while going through the lessons and all that. So it's not that the business, you know, for me, it was not just the business. The business is just a bonus, but the whole program itself mm -hmm. is like so worth it that you, you transform yourself and transform your health. The, the payment of the program is just nothing compared to what and how you'll be able to transform yourself. And then on top of that, you can have a great business and help a lot of women. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so, so much, Heidi. Your story is so inspiring and just your energy and your perspective are so inspiring. So thank you so much for sharing that with us today. And, uh, I look forward to keep seeing you on our calls as we stay connected in our community. Thank you so much to Jessica for this time and for this opportunity. And, you know, God bless to all, you know, um, good luck. Everything will be well. You're, we are at the right place at this point. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. All right. Thank you so much, Heidi. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Bye-bye.